Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to do a DRL delete on our Forerunner. So with the newer models, uh, the DRL on the Forerunner is basically where the high beam is. So with this new one, I got the 2022 TRD Sport, the headlight, it's dual LED or bi LED. So on the projector, it only have the flap that opens for high beam. And low beam, basically, it, it basically closes the flap or just halfway uh, just to give you that low beam effect. And then the DRL basically is just the same 9005 or HB3 uh, bulb, but only running DRL mode. It doesn't go with the high beam. So what I'm going to do is I will replace it with an actual LED. All right. So the, I'm sorry, the DRL will be deleted and we're going to have a dual high beam setup. So the way I'm going to do that is I will install the Oxito LED Q16. These are nice. So as I'm looking at the previous generation or not previous generation, previous years of the uh, Forerunner, they have that high beam with the DRL. And then you can replace the bulbs on the high beam and the low beam, but not on this newer one. They are like sealed, so you can really replace the actual headlight on the projector or the bulb on the projector. All right, so let's go with the specs. Okay, so with the specs of this one, uh, it will just show you here that their operating voltage 9 to 30 volts, their IP67 rated, uh, color temperature is 6000K. I'm not sure what that light, so light source model is. Probably that's the model of the LED chips that they're using, I'm not sure. Operating temperature is negative 40 Fahrenheit to positive 176 Fahrenheit. Operating life is 50,000 hours. Housing material, aviation aluminum so with this one let's check with them how they look like and again these are the 9005 or hb3 4d forerunner so in the box we have some gloves in here we have a user guide and we have those awesome led bulbs again these are nice i already use this on my uh, RAV4 if you haven't checked the video I'll put the link up here and you can check how they are actually performing in real life uh, yeah so I'll just show you how to install this and how they look like in the garage still kind of bright outside uh, so we're not gonna test it uh, but yeah, so let's do the install. Okay, so we're gonna remove it. So just open the hood. They're very accessible here in the back. So let's see. It should be this one. Just twist it. So counterclockwise. It's already twist. There you go. Right, so you got the bulbs out. If you want to use these bulbs again, uh, like me, I accidentally touched the, the glass. So just wipe them with alcohol first and then let them dry before using it. Uh, so as you can see, these are the factory halogen, if it will focus. There you go. Yeah, so we're gonna replace that with the LED. Okay, so just for comparison also, with the height from base to base, they're kinda similar. Um, again, that is very important 
uh, there's a lot of mix uh, comments online that LED doesn't work well on reflector type so as long as you install this properly uh, there should be no issue I don't have any issue uh, or I never had any issue on my LED uh, even with my older RAV4 like that I have an 09 RAV4 before and that one has a reflector type housing and I never had issues make sure this is positioned this way 12 o'clock position when you install it so that the lights emit sideways all right that you'll have a better beam uh, with that one all right this one is not adjustable so yeah you kind of stuck with that one uh, yeah but yeah these are nice I like the quality the build quality of this LED and the heat sink and the fan is up here instead of blowing at the back uh, it's kind of good I guess but yeah so let's install them and uh, talking all right so to complete this process we're gonna need some stuff so we're gonna need a harness a wiring harness Basically, we need to customize this one and we're going to need some pigtails. These are 9005 pigtails. Uh, what we're going to do is we need to cut this off, part off, and then we're going to put the lights in here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some DT connectors on this side, all right? And I'll plug it into my wiring harness. All right, and then this basically goes to the lights. So I got the lights already like installed in there. And what we're gonna need to do is on the other end of this one, we're gonna need to change this end to DT connectors also, so that we can basically combine this two. We're gonna have that, all right. Then we're just going to wire it basically just goes to the positive and negative. Again, this has a relay. Uh, we're going to use some OEM style switch. We're not going to use this. So we're going to pass this through the firewall. All right. So let me work on this one and we're going to remove this because we're going to run the wiring harness down here to reach on the other side. Right, so let's work on that one. Okay, so there you go. I connected the DT connector to our Oxito LED Q16 in there. All right, so there they are. So again, make sure they are on the 12 o'clock position. Okay, so now we're gonna have a dual high beam setup. So again, just to wire the harness, I temporarily put it in here. Uh, I'm going to use like an L bracket uh, to secure my relay. All right, so again, just wire it up, positive, negative, and we're going to rerun it into the grommet in there. Over here, there will be a small grommet in there. Just cut that one up. And yeah, and then just pass it through the inside of the car. And with this one, let's quickly test it if you want. Let's do it. Okay, so that's the regular headlight, low beam. Let's turn on the high beam. Okay, that's now the regular headlight, high beam. Now let's turn on the second high beam that we just installed. That is awesome. So we have a dual high beam setup. So if I want, basically, I can turn on that second high beam while the projector is on low beam and I can still have my fog lights on. But I have another project on the fog lights so that we can have like dual high beam plus our fog lights all on so 
But, you know, I'm not gonna be that jerk on the road. I'll be responsible using that secondary high beam that I have. Uh, but yeah, so we successfully installed a secondary high beam on our Forerunner, all right? And then just to add, I use a 10 amp fuse on the harness. Uh, I originally just installed five amp and got busted. I put the 7.5 amp, it works, no issue, but just to be on the safe side, I installed a 10 amp fuse in there just to be safe. All right, so there you go, guys. If you find this video helpful, please consider and subscribing. We're going to do a test drive on this one, to show you how it looks like on the road. We're still going to be, we're not going to be on public roads. We're going to be on a private road. We're going to be going around, but still bright outside. So we're going to wait till it get dark and we're going to test it. All right. All right, guys. So now we're going to test the dual high beam setup. So we're just going to go around uh, here in my community. We're not going to go to the uh, main road. Uh, so again, do this responsibly. I suggest if you're going to use this, if you're off-roading, most likely this will help. So while I'm on my driveway, I just want to show you how it works. So now I'm going to put the regular high beam on which is that one so it's in the same housing of the projector so low beam and high beam on the same housing so it only have that flap to open on the high beam now let me turn on the secondary high beam those are right and these are the Oxito Q16 yeah, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to purchase this. But this is bright. So let's go and drive around the community. All right, so now this is like the low beam. It's good. Now I turned on the fog light. And now I'm gonna turn on the high beam. So we're gonna test the dual high beam on, on another street. So I'm gonna test this with the fog lights off. I'm gonna try to test the high beam on that road ahead. Okay, so right now it's on low beam. There you go. So it's on low beam right now, but high beam, then secondary high beam. Those are bright, very bright. So let's proceed driving. We're gonna go around. So the high beam is just that, and the secondary high beam is more. I like this. I wanna try just the high beam. Huh, huh, I like it. So we're gonna go around, I'll show you with the low beam and the LED high beam. I think with the older models, yeah, these are replaceable basically because they have the DRL and the high beam function on the older uh, model years. So we're just gonna go around, we're gonna go back to that road. We're gonna test it. But again, dual high beam setup. I like it. <laughs> but again, do it responsibly. Uh, personally, I'm not gonna do it uh, or light it up on public roads, really. Probably in the back roads, I will do it. Because I usually take the back roads anyways. Okay, so we're gonna test it. High beam with low beam. Whoo, that's bright. Now with the projector high beam. Yeah, so they're a little high, but still, 
I like it. I like it. So let's go. Let's go home. All right. So I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll put the link of the parts or the stuff that I use uh, in the description. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.